you guys can follow me on instagram and telegram and other social media also link will be in the description guys do follow for more and recent updates on my youtube channel so hello everyone my name is pritam paul and welcome to my youtube channel so this is another video of my tap playlist series if you are new to the channel please do watch this video till the end and if you like this video please hit the like button if you found this video useful please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every video could be reached to you through notification so without wasting the time let's start the video so in the previous video i have talked about rearranging and reshaping so in case of reshaping we have discussed and in case of rearranging i have discussed about the transposing and flipping and in this video i will if you didn't watch this video by the way uh, please press the i button and go to that video and after that you you can watch this i would recommend that one okay and in this video i will be talking about shifting rotating and sorting now what is shifting rotating and sorting so we will discuss about all these things one by one first of all in shifting you can shift elements of an array by a certain number of positions using the circ shift function okay so what is this actually okay so let's take an example and uh, try to understand what is actually shifting okay so a equal to so here this is a matrix of 3 by 4 order okay now we want to shift the columns not the rows we do not want to shift rows right now i am just showing the column okay so what i'm going to write that b equal to circ or uh, then shift okay then in the first parameter you have to declare the uh, matrix on which you want to apply the function the first argument would be the matrix on which you want to apply this operation and after that you have to pr uh, press the th uh, opening third bracket and after that you have to write zero because the first position is for rows so we do not want to shift any rows that's why we put zero here after that space and after that how many positions we want to shift so i want to shift two positions but of col in columns and af after that ending the brackets and after that press enter so what is happening actually here that uh, in this uh, matrix actually the columns will be shifted right so this column will be shifted to here and this column will be shifted to here and what will what will happen to these two columns that these two columns will be shifted to next two positions isn't it so there is what is going to means what is going to be a scenario actually that the resultant matrix would be that uh, means this there is no such positions right here okay as it is circular shifting the this one would be considered the first position and this one would be considered to the second position that's why this column has been shifted to here this column has been shifted to here and as well as this column and this column would be shifted to here and in this way means 3 7 11 then 4 8 12 and then 1 5 9 and then 2 6 10 in this way this matrix has been formed so this is called actually circular shifting in case of rows also circular sh shifting would be done in the same way for example on this if i uh, means if i do the operation that uh, circular shifting okay and then if i uh, just here in third bracket if i uh, write that one and zero that means columns will be shift uh, fixed and the rows will be shifted by one position so one position means this one would be would be going to here this one would be going to here and this one would be going to here okay so one second uh, means this one would be going to here this one would be going to here and this row would be going to here okay that means this kind of thing circular one is going to two two is going to three and three is going to one again this kind of circular motion would be there and in case of four by four order means three by four order what has happened actually here one two three and the four okay so shifted by two position okay shifted by two positions right so first column would be going to the third part and the second column would be going to the fourth position third column would be going to the first position and the fourth column would be going to the second position so in this way it has been occurred okay so if i now let's check it out okay now if i write that c equal to okay uh, c i r c then s h i f t of uh, a comma one space zero okay 
so here you can see that means nine third row has going uh, has gone to the first position first one has gone to the second position and second one has gone to the third position so in this way actually rows and columns are shifting now what will happen when we would be using means both the combination okay now if i write d equal to okay first of all let me clear all a and then d equal to if i write c i r c then s h i f t then a comma now if i write that two space two that means two, uh, uh, two position of rows and two position of columns also means both the thing will be happening together so you can see that that first of all rows have been shifted okay rows have been shifted by two that means the this one would be going to this position you can see that okay so this one is going to this position so this one would be going to this position and this one is going to this position isn't it now the rows have uh, rows have been shifted now column let's talk about column one is going to the third position so here you can see that okay and uh, here uh, the second one has gone to the fourth position third one has gone to the first position and fourth one gone to the second position is, isn't it so you can observe and both the things will be happening together now if you are going to compute by your own then you can compute one by one first of all you, you, sh you should shift the elements uh, by row okay the row one you should done you should be done first and after that the columns column part also means after finishing with the row shifting you have to do the column shifting on the same one that means the second one not the actual one okay means if i divide this operation by uh, two part okay so first of all b equal to c i r c s h i f t of a comma two space zero okay so this is row shifting has has been done has been done now you have to do another one where column will be shifted on this so c i r c s h i f t then b now you have to do the column shifting on b not on a i hope you are getting my point you have to apply this one on b okay so b comma then uh, okay then zero space two okay then columns will be shifted so this is the resultant which we uh, had in the d i guess isn't it yeah you can see that yeah both are same so this is the thing actually this is the uh, this is the way by which shifting is going to be happen okay now let's talk about rotating okay so how rotating would be done so first of all let's clear everything and now so rotating there is a function which is rot 90 so rot 90 is a function by which we can rotate a matrix in a counter clockwise direction okay so what is going to happen that one two three four okay so now if you would be rotating means rot 90 this that means you can shift by 90 degree okay if you sh uh, just rotate it okay so if you rotate a box okay how it would be going to happen that it would be like this that means this position is going to here this position is going to here this position is going to here and this position is going to here so uh, one is going to here so one is one one is here now uh, this one is going to here that means three is going to here then uh, four is going to here that means yeah you can see that so this one would be going to here that means two is going to in the first position okay so this is the thing actually okay let me give another example which is in coordinate geometry okay this is the first one this is the second one this is the third one this is the fourth one okay so after rotating this will be going to here this will be going to here this will be going to here and this will be going to here after 90 degree of rotation right so uh means one is going to here 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 in this in the matrix section it is one it is two sorry it is three and it is two and it is four right so one is going to here that means here then three is going to here four is going to here two is going to here so in this way rota rotation is happening isn't it so this is actually happening in case of rotation now let's apply this one on three by three matrix so if i write that b equal to rot 90 then uh, a 
then anti clockwise 90 degree would be happening 90 degree rotation so this will be the resultant so please try by yourself on your laptop okay so if you have any doubt please uh, feel free to comment below there now another thing is there is there is another uh, operation also in rotating now if you want to rotate okay if you want to rotate uh, three more times that means uh, means for example if i directly say that for example now if i write that a equal to one space two then three space four and if i want to uh, rotate it okay um, by 180 degree so what we have to do that if, uh, for example b equal to okay rot 90 of a comma then two two is used by a constant okay by uh, according to the calculation that what will happen that 2 into 90 that means 180 degree rotation would be there see that okay 180 degree rotation has has done okay so if you want to rotate by uh means 270 degree so you can write 3 here okay and by the way 45 degree and 60 degree rotation won't be happening here you are you all can understand okay now if i want to uh write that four so see a and b are same that means 360 degree rotation has done and uh, so the matrices are same you can see okay so this is this is very interesting okay and this is uh, all about the rotation now let's talk about sorting okay now sorting the data in an array or a matrix is also a valuable tool okay in case of matlab okay it offers a number of uh, approaches for example the sort function sorts the elements of each row or column of a matrix separately in ascending or descending order so let's discuss about this a equal to 1 2 3 then uh, 7 5 3 sorry 4 and then 9 10 then 6 okay so here you can see that this is a matrix now if i want to sort it okay b equal to sort sort a okay if i write like that then what will happen that you can see that uh okay uh column means actually what is happening actually in uh, means according to the column sorting is actually done okay means the columns are sorted as this is sorted let me give you another example that uh, 10 so here this is c okay now if i write d equal to sort of c so you can see that column I means columns are sorted right now not rows by the way okay and this is actually uh, by default actually ascending order is, is is done okay but if we want to uh, do it by descending order okay what do we have to do that uh, for the in the second argument okay uh, we have to put a value 2 which specifies that you want to sort row wise okay and in case of descending order you have to put another argument by single quotation that descend okay so let me show you guys okay so you can see that uh, this is a matrix and if i write b equal to so rows are now sorted okay a comma 2 2 actually specifies that matlab has to do the uh, sorting in row wise okay 2 actually specifies that one and if you do, do not use 2 then uh, uh, by default columns will be sorted not rows and now in case of descending order okay what we have to write that uh, in case of descending order so you can see that descending order rows are now sorted yeah in case of uh, column column was uh, descending sorting you have to write that a comma one means by default it is one if, if you can't means let's check it out that if i don't put one what is happening yeah by default uh, the columns will be sorted but using the descent keyword okay the descent in descending order everything will be sorted I hope you are getting the point okay so this is actually these are the things which i wanted to discuss in this video and uh, if you found this video useful please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every video would be reached you for notification if you have any doubt let me know through comments below there and i will definitely try to answer them okay 
and uh, this much for today guys i am pritham paul signing off for now today so see you on the next video uh, 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 uh.